various different colors. Those aren't Christmas lights gone mad. Those are lasers in one of the two main laser labs at the University of Louisville. We use lasers as tools, but these tools can be used to study chemical compounds, chemical reactions, all kinds of uh, energy-related processes. So we really use lasers as tools. Jin Jun Lu caught the laser bug as a child in China, watching Star Wars movies. <laughs> now he's running the laser labs at UofL, one with high-resolution lasers, the other with ultra-fast lasers. It's the molecules and what makes your car work, gasoline and its emissions, that Lou and his students are studying as part of their work for the UofL Speed School of Engineering and the Kahn Center for Renewable Energy Research. But in chemical reactions, uh, very often they are in excited states, they're very active, right? So we can use lasers to find out where the excited states are, how long the molecules stay there, uh, how, what are they doing at the excited state. Okay? So that's, that's what we, we study here. So of course we want to improve the efficiency of your car engine and reduce pollution as much as possible. Okay? We can add a different additives, we can change the uh, composition of uh, the gasoline. These ultra-fast lasers with light moving as fast as a 30 millionth of one billionth of a second are being used to detect the separation and recombination of charges for solar cell batteries. It's a mind-boggling array of energy research. Every week my students and I are uh, looking at different molecules, or every day we're looking at different molecules, and uh, almost every week we find something new. It's very cool, that's why I'm doing it.